All right, so I've been looking for a way to remotely control my Ableton Live intro, which is on my Apple MacBook uh, Air M1 from my iPad. First, you go download, go ahead and download a, an LK Ableton Remote app. It'll pop up with this. Once you have it all downloaded, and it's gonna say waiting for Ableton Live on here. You're gonna get to that screen. You're gonna come back to your computer here and you have to have an app downloaded here and it's called UBridge. Go ahead and just look up on the internet, look up download UBridge, be the first one on there. Yeah, at least it was for me. It'll come up with this here once you get everything all downloaded. Your device is here, that's just your Wi-Fi router. When it comes to control surface, it's not gonna say this here. What you're gonna have to do is actually go back to your screen, grab the app itself click and drag it over and it's gonna come up with this. It's not doing anything for me because I already have it on here. Uh, you wanna make sure your input and output are the UBridge virtual input and the UBridge virtual output. Then you wanna go ahead and open up your Ableton Live. I just have the intro version. Go up to the top corner here, hit Live. Go to preferences. That's gonna come up. You wanna to go to your link tempo MIDI. And then you wanna come down here, make sure under control surface, it's gonna give you a whole list. Make sure you go down, select LK. Under input, make sure you have the UBridge virtual input selected. And then here, the UBridge virtual output. Down here under MIDI ports, you wanna make sure you have track selected under both the LK input and the LK output. And then the same thing with remote, you want both of those selected. Now, once you have both of those selected, you can go ahead, exit out of there, and it's going to just automatically show up on your iPad. Now, what you can do too, uh, if you wanna go ahead and open up a project, let's open up a live set, what do we have on here? Um, I'm working on some music here. We'll open up this bad boy. Just some stuff I'm messing with. So you got your files right here. You can come over to your iPad. And again, it just automatically does this. Has everything set up. Just tap on here. And it automatically starts playing that first line there, your first track. You can go to your second one. Just click on the names over here and do the master track. You got all those going on there. So you can begin to control these things, all these functions here now from your iPad. And then from here, you can uh, remotely activate them. You can uh, record, things like that, all wirelessly now. And you can have this guy hooked up wherever you want to hook him up. If you're playing drums, keys and you want something a lot less profile a lot low a lot more low profile it's perfect for that um me personally i use them for i wanted to start using it at least for recording drums so i can have this hooked up to the main system if you have a behringer and be able to go down to the drum set and just record with that well i hope this has been helpful if you guys have any questions i'll try my best to figure stuff out and get back to you in a timely manner